and restore disable. And I've made this one, two, three, four, five, six, or seven steps. So you can just follow them. So we've done table, uh, step one. We've done uh, step two. And now we're going to actually uh, do the log shipping reverse. So run the following tail log backup with no recovery on the primary server. What does that mean? Well, what that means is basically is when I execute this, uh, when I execute this, it will take this database and put it into a no recovery mode. Now, how did I get, how did I get this? Well, very easy. I did. I mean, I will certainly give it to you and you can modify the uh, disk drive. But other than that, you don't have to do anything other than the uh, database name also. But you can execute it. How do I do it is right click, go to tasks, backup database, drop down differential, remove, add, and obviously the directory here is my S drive. So actually you can see it here or actually, um, so I'm just going to call this, I called it tail actually, dot TRN. That's the extension. Go OK, go OK. And then go over here, make sure you go to uh, media options, check this back up the tail of the log and leave the database in a restoring mode. Now, if you click this, it'll execute. Obviously, I like to have control of the uh, uh, script itself. So script it out. And that's what I did. So this script right here is this. And I've just cleaned it up a little. So now I'm going to actually execute this. So highlight it and execute. And now if I refresh this database, you'll notice it's a restoring state and inaccessible. So that's great. So now we've done step three. Step four, copy paste the last tail log from primary to secondary. So if I go to my database, uh, if I may go to my backup file, you'll see it's right there. Obviously navigate to, navigate to the server to share drive. And how do you get there? Just go window R and type in your address for your server, for your network server, for drive D, and that will pop up. And then just copy this and paste it. And there we go. So now it's in drive D. So let's look at it here. So copy paste the last tail from the primary to the secondary shared drives, which we did. And now go to the secondary server and execute five. So what you want to do now is copy this, because remember, we're on server one. We want to do this on server two. So copy this, go to server two, and here it is. So I'll just paste it again. And now, remember, we're on server two. This is in a standby mode. As soon as we restore this using no recovery and execute, that now becomes active. So if I refresh it, you can see that it's live data, uh, live database. So go to server one, this is inactive. So we've switched the roles now. And obviously what I want to do now is let's test something here. So if I go if I go to the tables and let's say I, now I've only got table one, so I'm going to go right click. Now I'm on secondary. Now we've switched the roles. So I'm going to go to table and I'm going to create another table and save it, go OK, and close, refresh. And now you see, remember, server two is active now. So I've got two tables here, or data has been updated. So now I want to propagate this back to the other place, up to the other secondary. So what I want to do now, obviously, is uh, if I go over here, go over here, and refresh. Uh, have I, uh, let me see if I've done this step. I don't think I did this today. Okay, we've done that. So now let's refresh this. Okay, I don't believe I did this. So now you want to, okay, so start log shipping process. Okay, so start looking ship process by start making the primary uh, this primary. We're on the second server, server two. We've basically restored the database. 
Uh, and now what we're going to do actually is start the log shipping process again. So all you have to do is go right click to the server, tasks, and just exactly the way you do it, just go okay. Exactly the way you do it, start all over again, go okay, and close it. Now that will delete the original configuration job that we had. So right click, tasks, ship transaction log, and now it just, just exactly like we did it. This time, obviously, the the uh, backup is going to be slightly different. So it's going to be server. Let's make sure we two backslash D. Now, this is the primary server where everything is going to go. So go OK and add. Now we're going to add server one, which is going to be the secondary server. Now, this is a great advantage here. You'll see it says, no, the second bit database has been initialized, meaning we don't need to do that large step of backing up the data. So this is a great advantage here. Copy files. Now, obviously, this is going to be slash slash server one, and it's going to be S. And we'll leave it at a restore state. Uh, I'm sorry, standby state, so we can view it. Go OK, OK. And again, usually you had four steps in executing log shipping. In this case, we've skipped the backup. So that's great. So now if we go to jobs, refresh, and we can see actually new jobs created here. If we go to server one, go to jobs, refresh, and we can see new jobs created here. Now, obviously, this was a, a backup job. We don't need it, so we can delete this. We'll go delete. We can do the same on server two. We can delete these. Now, obviously, it seems a little tedious here and a little long, but obviously, once you get used to it, uh, you can do it within just about 10 minutes or 15 minutes, the process that is, meaning you can set up the log shipping very easily. The process itself, obviously, be note, may take a long time, again, depending on how large your database is. So now that we've got that, let's do a couple of testing here. So again, this is primary now, and this is secondary. So go to your primary and open, and let's add another table. We've got two tables here. Let's add another table. Go to table, back. So this is basically emulating data, obviously. Now we've got three. Let's close that, refresh. And now we want to obviously migrate that data and take a backup log of this and migrate to the other one. So let's do that. So right, uh, right click and start. Then obviously this will take the, it's just like it did in the uh, initial. Nothing has changed. The only thing has changed is the reversal of roles. That's all that happened. So go to uh, one, copy. And let's restore. And let's look at that. Close. And there we go. And if we expand this and expand the tables, we should get three tables, and we did. So that's how you do a reversal of log shipping. If your primary server goes down or you need to work on it for some reason, you need to switch roles from the primary to the secondary, where the secondary takes in uh, all the um, applications and users. Now, one thing I'm going to do in the next video is obviously is show you uh, uh, an important thing, which is avoiding what's called logins. As, when you migrate or when you execute log shipping, it does not migrate uh, SQL logins from one uh, server to another. That has to be manually done. So now those users who are trying to connect to this database, this database, look at this um, well, let me look at the security here. Some of these users will not migrate over, so we have to migrate that. And then the next step, I'm going to show you how to do that also. But I think I'm going to leave it here, and now you get the idea. Now, the key thing here is to practice, 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 where this becomes somewhat easier for you. You'll be surprised how easy it is to set up log shipping, uh, the process itself, uh, when you're familiar with it. And it looks like a cumbersome uh, thing to do, but again, if you do it many times, 
uh, six, seven times practicing, this becomes very easy. Script out your things, so that's a lot easier. And as you said, the way I like to do it is just have a chronological step of everything. So I just know what I'm doing without rehearsing. So I know I've got one, two, three. So follow this protocol and you'll be fine. And the only things you'll have to change is just the directories and the database names and you're good. So I think I'll leave it there and that explains log shipping. The next one, obviously, I'm going to show you how to do migrate logins. After that, we're going to get into the next uh, high availability solution, which is going to be database mirroring. And you'll see that while this is, in, we can do it in conjunction with this. So you can have both HA solutions on in your environment. So I'm going to leave it there and uh, we'll pick it up next uh, video. So my name is Raphael and this is how to become a production SQL database administrator. See you in the next video.